Hi, it's Lucy from Craft Braid Bush and welcome back. Today we're going to be putting together a little gardening kit, a perfect gift for Mother's Day or a neighbor. It's so cute and I even made you a little label to print. Let's get started. Alright, so let's just go through all the items that I picked up um, at the dollar store to make this little gift. The first thing you're going to need is a container. I picked up this little tin container, but of course it could be a box or a basket, but that should work nicely. I also picked up a couple scoops and a little hole, um, some garden shears, gloves. I picked up this box of wildflower mix. Um, however, someone told me that when they sprinkled this in their garden, uh, it was full of goldenrod and there was another weedy type of flower that um, practically took, took over the entire garden. So warning on that, um, I think I would probably instead pick up maybe some different types of herbs and seeds, different seeds but this was what was available at the dollar store, so I picked that up. I also picked up this adorable um, little set. It's like my favorite thing, is this little jar with a little hole on the top for the twine, and it came with these amazing little garden shears. I think this is so cute, and I just wanna remind you, I am in Canada, so our dollar store is called Dollarama, um, however, there is a Dollar Tree nearby that I love to visit and maybe what I can do is um, find items that are similar so I can put together you know, a basket with dollar store items and a basket from the Dollar Tree, that way everybody can play. <laughs> um, okay, so we got that. Uh, oh, I also picked up some little herb pots from the grocery store which happens to be right beside the dollar store so it saved me a trip to the nursery and lastly which I can't find oh there it is is this uh, cute little tag that I made for you I watercolor these little herbs and made them into a tag that if you wish you can definitely visit my blog and print it out I will leave the link below so now that we got all that out of the way, let's get to the fun part, which is putting it all together. All right, the first thing we're going to do is line the bottom of your container. And I use this, to be honest, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called cedar fiber, something like that. But you can use tissue paper or shredded paper. I then took the two little herb pots and just put them in there. And there isn't a right way to do this. It's just whatever looks nice um, positioned in there. Just take all your items, whatever it is that you chose as uh, to add into the gift. So I'm just putting in the, the little uh, scoop and the flowers. And I'm gonna add the gloves and the shears. And of course, the little jar that I love so much. And just play around with it until you're happy with how it looks. I also added a couple of faux succulents that I had and that's just to fill in any empty areas. Now to attach the ribbon I used tape. You can of course use hot glue if you wish, I just didn't want the glue residue on the container so I opted for tape. And I'll just go all around taping the ribbon to the container. Tie a little bow and of course you can add the tag that I will have available for you 
on the blog just to follow the link and it should be easy to download. I think it's such a sweet gift. Um, the best part is that you can customize it for the cook in the house, the artist, the possibilities are endless. And as a matter of fact, let me know what kind of kit you want me to put together next time and maybe I can paint another little tag for you. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Yeah, you're interrupting my video. Yes, you are. Another plant that's kind of weedy. I don't know. Aww.